Hello, I'm Dan Alexander. Thank you for joining me for another of my webcasts. Today, I'd like to talk about how to clean a microphone diaphragm. What happens when your diaphragm gets dirty? Over time, spit and dust get coated on your capsule and cause buildup and it results in a loss of frequency response and interferes with the electrical performance of the capsule. When you breathe breath directly onto the diaphragm, it will often explode into an ocean roar kind of sound. So what you don't do in cleaning your diaphragm is to impact the diaphragm with anything physical. No Q-tips, no photo brushes, no high pressure air from an air compressor. These things are not good. You don't want to touch the capsule with anything. So what do you do? Well, here we have a gallon of distilled water. We're going to pour some of distilled water into this lovely gravy separator. Now, this is an M49 with its grill removed. And although this capsule is gorgeous and doesn't need to be cleaned, I'll clean it anyways because it won't have any negative effect. I have cleaned dozens and dozens of large diaphragm microphones with this method with zero negative impact. I have restored many of those capsules to good functional condition simply by washing them off. After we wash the diaphragm, we will put it underneath or in the vicinity of a lamp, not something too hot, just warm, and leave it for a matter of two hours, six hours, overnight, and all the moisture will evaporate. Sometimes after that, I decide the capsule would be better if it was cleaned again. So I'll just do it again. No need, no reason not to. So here's what we do. We have our capsule. I hold it like this. I take my gravy separator of water and I pour the water over the diaphragm. You want to keep your eyes on what you're doing because you don't want to hit the capsule with the end of the gravy separator. So you wash it off like this, and you can do this for five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. It's, there's, no, there's nothing bad about it. So sometimes you run out of water and you take your bowl, and without pouring it into your lap, you pour it back into the gravy separator and do it some more. Another thing I do is hold it this way and actually pour the water onto the diaphragm and you'll see it just pools up there like a little puddle. And you just leave it on there. It's, it's going to soften up and dissolve gunk and goop and spit remnants and that kind of stuff. And you, you just do that. You can, like I said, you can do this for whatever, five or 10 minutes. And then when you're done, you simply take that and place it under a lamp of some kind and just leave it. And there you have it. That's it. Don't puncture the capsule with a screwdriver. Don't 
hit the diaphragm with the end of this thing. <laughs> Pay attention to what you're doing because if you, if you hit the capsule, you can ruin it. So don't do that. In any case, you don't need to do this often. And remember that and uh, like that there. Okay, so thank you for joining me. Really appreciate your time and please visit my website. Thank you.